so we are beginning with the chapter one record your first macro if you are new to macro then you have to take some precautions this is a sheet of intro so let's insert a new sheet delete this one now let me increase the size of this sheet so you can see the content easily let's try so again hmm. here is my notes micro micro basically is nothing just like a video recording it is same as a video recording suppose you are recording a video from your webcam or camera then what you do just turn on the recording and record each and everything and stop recording then your video is ready right so macro is same just you have to turn on the macro recording record each and every steps then turn off the recording it is so simple so micro recording basically automate your report this mm. reduce redundancy so these are the benefits of micro recording it is used to save time perform complex tasks suppose you are making report uh, in which you are filtering data on each and every day and sorting then use some conditional formatting use if we look up as look up these are daily routine so record i will suggest you record a macro and press a button then all your tasks will automatically complete it then so there is a limitation of macro recording uh, macro recording does not define the constant variable arrays I will tell you what is variable constant arrays in the later chapter mm. this is the basically macro recording macro recording does not deal with the if statement so if you are using some conditional statement like if this true and if this false what should be happen then your macro will not going to deal with that in the loops macro recording does not record the loops you have to create it manually then there is some call to built-in function VBA has some built-in function and VBA has some features to call the excel function also which macro does not can do so let's start with record the first macro so what i am going to do i will i have already tell you told you that i will prepare all data on of onshore in front of you so let's try rand between Let's try to generate some random numbers. Control and so this is the Excel part. Whenever Excel part will come, I will not going to show you in detail the procedure. Um, and I'm treating that you know the Excel. So rand between basically what does it do? It do generate some random numbers between a uh, specific number to specific number I have generated the number from 100 to 500 so let's copy it press ctrl alt v to paste special then values then press ok now I'm going to record my first macro so here's my data sheet so you can record your macro from two places first is 
view menu then go to macro here is a macro then here is the record macro then the second place is the developer tab oops my excel is not showing the developer tab where it is the default excel does not show the developer tab <laughs> so you have to enable it how let's go to customize the ribbon right click on any menu bar then go to customize the ribbon then here is your developer tab check this box and press ok if you want to enable here is the alternative for enabling the developer tab so go to file menu then go to options then go to um, customize ribbon then check this again so two method which you can use to enable the developer tab now my developer tab has been enabled so 